Right. Be like, you know, from from your favorite actor. Watch all these scenes, how the movie come in, how he walk in, his body, his body movement. It's all on film. Cheat sheet. Mm. I had to do it for years, but I'm giving y'all a free game because I don't want y'all to struggle. You probably could help. You couldn't help the struggle that I went through. You probably, you probably couldn't live. <laughs> <laughs> so for the ones that can't take a lot of pressure, right. go watch a goddamn movie. You got a lot of money, go watch your movie, get you some game, learn how to do it. And I shouldn't be saying it, but. Ron, I'm here to speak truth. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people ain't got a lot of money to go to acting school. Mm -hmm. And and if you got a TV, watch. Or how about you got a camera in front of you, just practice. Right, do with your friends. Role play. Go do do independent films. All that push you because mm -hmm. you it's not a great expectations on your acting ability. And you could be the one that be that natural. You could be that that diamond in the rough. You could be that very one can do these things like. Damn, I didn't. Natural. Mm -hmm. You could be the next one. So, can't make it unless you try it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And where's the wisdom? And also, we'll add uh, your favorite movie of all time. So after, oh my after, after, God, after, after, bro. Fa fa favorite movie of all time, then where's the wisdom? But you know what? Uh -huh. It's a movie called Come Talk to Me with Don Cheadle. Oh my God. Amazing. Have you heard of that? No. You gotta check it out. Okay. It's so amazing. Don Cheetah need Academy Award for that. I think he got cheated because he, he embodied that. Petey Green was a big time personality host. Mm -hmm. And Petey Green could have been the biggest actor, comedian in the world. But Petey Green was too, he was too, like you said, I'm just too real for TV. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He had this dude to take him to the Johnny Carson show in the movie. And if he would have nailed that Johnny Carson um, show, it would have put him worldwide. But Peter Green got up there and said, you know what? Y'all ain't ready for peak time. Mm. And walked out. <laughs> oh my God. Bruh, and, and, and people know that saw the movie. I know what you're talking about. That right. Peter Green, bruh, he was, he was one of the best radio um, hosts in the world. But he only was at a minimum because he didn't go to the next level. You see what I'm saying? Right. And Don Cheetah was the um, the main actor that played that role. He embodied it. You felt it. Man, he got he did a scene where he brought James Brown on Brian, when they when, cause that in the movie, Malcolm um um Martin Luther King got murdered. Mm. So so Peter Green, which is that's played by Don Cheeto, had to break the news to the people on the radio. And he said, Man, I got some breaking news. Dr. King, our leader, was assassinated today. He said, I know, and they, and what happened was they tore up the city. They, mm -hmm. they did a riot and they tore the city, burning the city down. Mm -hmm. So they said, Petey Green, we need you on the radio. These niggas is tearing up the town. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the niggas go crazy. So Petey Green had to come across with the <laughs> These niggas is tearing up the city. <laughs> <laughs> and Petey Green on the radio say, listen, listen, I know you want that pain of blood, uh -huh. but this ain't what Dr. King would wanted us to do. So I want y'all to stop what you're doing and stop burning this damn town, this damn town down and go home. He said, now what we're going to do, we're going to throw a, a benefit concert mm -hmm. and we're going to bring in James Brown. Mm. And man, when that, bro, when he brought James Brown on that goddamn, that damn stage, man, the introduction, I never heard it in my life. He said, man, Peter Green was getting loaded for the, for the concert having, right. you know what I'm saying, in the back, because he, he had a lot of pressure on him. Think about it. They just murdered Dr. Martin Luther King, bro. That's the greatest man we had. Right. So Peter Green was getting fooled. So when he got on that stage, Peter Green grabbed that mic. Listen. When I was on the way here, he said a white man pulled me over and said, why are these niggas burning this town that way? Mm -hmm. Called call them niggas and looked at me and called me a man. But mm -hmm. this a white man calling me a nigga, y'all niggas. Mm -hmm. He said, listen, if you call me nigga, they gonna have to call up every goddamn grave digger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man. You hear me? Right. Petey, I mean, it was so, man, Ron, it was so epic the way he, and, and if you see the movie, come talk to me. 
come talk to me, you will see why, man, like the adversity that we had to go through. And it, 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 it shows a lot about my life, too, because I had some struggles, brother. Mm -hmm. And we still, I'm still not exempt from the struggle. So, you know what I'm saying? So these are the things, movies inspired me because they have a message in them. They have a message in them. So if you going through it, get you a good movie to watch. Because you can relate to some of it. It's all, and, and that's all people do is shoot movies. Mm. It's, movies is the biggest thing because right now a lot of people was locked down with COVID. And a lot of people was forced to watch TV, bro. And you know, they weren't watching no space goddamn movie. They was watching original movies right. that we can relate to. I, I ain't got nothing against white people. Mm. But a lot of their shows I can't relate to. Because I didn't grow up like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can relate to some shows that I can identify with. And that's like for us by us. And and and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I see the numbers how y'all do. It's not like y'all giving a lot of us opportunities in the, in the movie industry. We can count on our hand uh, uh, all the top actors in the world. So thank God for these new independent filmmakers. And shout out to um, um, Kugler. Was Ryan Coogler got arrested, man? Got 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 got, mm. got detained for just cashing, trying to get some money out the bank, man. We we still in an, an era, bro, where we we're, we're getting harassed and we're getting criticized, man, for who we are as people just by going to the bank. That's not right, man. But he 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 felt what it felt like to be a nigga. Mm -hmm. and, and excuse my my, my 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 grammar, but that's what they treated him like. Mm -hmm. He had a beanie on his head, and he had a hoodie on. Mm. And he had a his face was he didn't look he didn't look like a million dollars that what the man is. Mm -hmm. But so goddamn what would he look like? The man was up in there that sh he showed his ID plus he had his his debit card, mm. and he put it in there and he put his pin number in there, mm. and he had a mask on. That's that, that's mandatory. So what did he do wrong? But I like the way he handled it. Mm -hmm. When the police came. He didn't, he was not raped. Listen to, listen, he was in the right of way. He was not raped. He was not cussing. And he gave them a correct answer when they answered his question. He said, now, after they got through talking, he said, now, let me explain myself mm -hmm. of what happened. And it's what, it's not right. So whatever happened with that, what should happen with that, shout to that brother because he handled himself well. And that's how we have to do when we against adversity. We have to handle ourselves well, my people. Mm. Shout out to him. His name Brian Cougar. Thanks to Brian Cougar. Brian yeah. Cougar. Yeah, yeah. Black Panther director. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, listen, 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 listen. If you're out there, let me get in that movie, brother. Wakanda for life. Yes, sir. Wakanda. Wait, Wakanda two about to come out. Wakanda. So. Yep. My brother. So, where, where can people find you, man? Uh, all the movies that you're in. Man, and, uh, check what's this coming out. Up? I've been entanglement. Mm -hmm. You find it on Hulu. You find it on Netflix. You might even get your book, the book, uh, what do you call it, booklet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But please support it, cause like, we need that. We need that. But yeah, it's on the, it's on the, all of, it's on all the platforms. Um, also, um, check out check out that money bag yo video. You know what I'm saying? Promo. I'm in that man. It's it's, it's it's doing numbers, crazy numbers. It have done crazy numbers. Check that. I'm in it. I'm in the beginning of it. Um, T Pain video. Get off your ass. Mm. It's rocking too. That thing rocking. You heard it? I haven't heard it yet. I gotta listen to it. It's a party. It's a, it's a party bank. A root to Franklin. Oh, Bessie Smith. I'm in that too. I got yeah. a little speaking role. I play a party goer, and I'm one of her friends in there, and I greet her in the movie. Um, so shout out to her. Um, um, oh man, Cicero, mm -hmm. Cynthia Rivio. She's out of England too. You didn't know that, did you? Mm -mm. She's out of England. Amazing. Can sing. I got a, I got the honor to play a role with her. I thank God for that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, this is without an agent. I yet. Then had also, to... Tyler Perry uh, was a House of Pain. Um. Well, I did a voiceover track for um um. House he was in something else in Meet the Browns. I seen you. He, he was he was Meet the Browns, but he was sitting at the like the bars or something like that. Or he was in one of those scenes I seen you. What? Well, well, the, the, the keep it a buck with you? Uh huh. I've been in over 35 motion pictures. So, <laughs> but that was extra work. Mm. The the things that I'm crying to you now are the things that I have speaking roles in. Nice. And but okay. if you if, if you want to pause the movies and for a second look at the background, you might find me. <laughs> I gotta keep it real with you. Nigga, right. I was extra. Right. You know what I'm saying? We when when I tell my mom was watching movie, we all had to pause it and, and, and flick it from second to second. That, 
Uh, oh, you'll miss my ass. Right. <laughs> like, hold on, you just missed me. You blink. You just missed me. But anyway, <laughs> these are the things I had to go through to get to where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I had to take steps, my people. And not saying that my struggle is going to be your struggle. I'm just telling you that I had a lot of trials and tribulations as being an extra. I was there when we were doing a movie. We couldn't even eat the catered food that the real actor was eating. Mm. But I refused. To, to not eat the extra food. That's why I was just calling me Harriet Tubman of the extras leading the, the extras to the cater food. This is a true story. <laughs> a lot of niggas so happy. They oh, was upset. So they were scared to eat. You you mean to tell me you so happy on the movie? You scared to eat? You don't get your ass up. You're going to start it there. But anyway, right. what I'm saying is this, is this is what happened. I was an extra leading people to the cater food. I'm like, man, it, it, I could tell the way they were looking when they... See, see it's the difference between cater food and regular food. Mm -hmm. Cater food... It's filet mignon. Cater food is bow dollar, not no little baby shrimp, bow dollar shrimp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cater food is when you getting, um, um, not just goddamn, what's what that cheap ass fish everybody be eating? Tilapia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Tilapia. Not none of goddamn tilapia. We talking about bash. You know what I'm saying? Right. Goddamn catfish. I'm getting thirsty and hungry thinking yeah. about shit. But these are the type of things that they have in catered food. So you will see people on the sideline eating that regular ass food looking like they never seen water before. So I would catch them like Harriet Tubman. Yeah. And look at him. You want to eat? You mean regular food or catered food? Nigga, I mean catered food. Right. So I was to take them. I had to take. I said, get in this line. And I swear to God, it was like it was like going like on the Underground Railroad to the catered food. I was like, don't you goddamn look back. Yeah, keep going, my Don't you? <laughs> Listen, I was on set with a PA, which is a person announcer. All right, give me a second. Okay. I was on the set of uh, Bessie Smith, which was a um, Queen Latifah movie, and it was, man, we we was at the Fox Theater, and they had the, they had that they had them two lines, which was an extra line and a catered line, and it was an extra that you know said I motivated to go and and, and get him some catered food, but he he got his plate. And when he turned around, the PA walked right in front of him, and it was a trash can right there. Now, could you imagine you got your food, you made it to the promised land, and you about to get back to your seat, and she tell you, throw that plate in the trash. I swear to God, bro. Hell no. And I told him, he was young. He had to been in 20, 20, 19, something. Right. I said, I was like, don't throw your plate away. And he threw it right in the trash. It killed me, bro. That killed me everything in my soul that he killed that, that he threw that plate away, man. You feel me? Right. So what I'm saying is, people, the struggle is real on these sets. Uh, my stories are real. Nothing is made up. These are, these are my experiences. But look how far God has taken me. And he can take you too. The only thing you got to do is believe. And you shall receive. I'm Hollywood the Classic. Y'all check me out. IG, Hollywood the Classic. One word, Hollywood, the T-H-E classic. Um, TikTok, Charles Lewis. It'll pop right up. Y'all support me, man. Check out my movie, Entanglement. Boom, that's coming out. Check out my videos with um, T-Pain, Trap, Trap Beckham. Also, shots out to Flyboy Phil. Oh, this brother is one of the best mu uh, music video producers that's going out looking for Flyboy Phil. Uh, Corey Piper. Man, I did some joints with them too, man. It's just amazing work. This dude is doing a movie with T.I. right now. Um, oh man, so many um, artists that's from Atlanta that's in it. Um, what's what's the young boy DC Young Fly in it? Um, oh man, Corey, what's the boy them, from, from, from the, with the South Four Twenty South Eighty Five South? They they are in it. Oh uh, man, it just the list. If you in Atlanta, man, you know about um, your boy uh, Five Boy Field. Shouts out to him, man, for giving me an opportunity. He got me worldwide too. So I'm Hollywood the Classic, man. Thanking God for every moment, every every opportunity that He's given me. Hey, man, you know what? Ain't no one in one way. It's up. It's up. And it's stuck.